3.37. I arrived at the airport in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where I met Nilda. Hola, soy Max. Encantada, soy Nilda. Nilda took me to my hotel, and that evening we went to eat, and it was time for my first test. I had to order a sandwich and a drink in a cafe and then ask for the check. I sat down at a table and I tried to order a soda and a chicken sandwich. Por favor, una refresco y un emparadado de pollo. Enseguida. Terrific. The waiter understood me the first time. My pronunciation wasn't perfect, but I got my soda and my sandwich. I really enjoyed it. But then the more difficult part, asking for the check. Cuanto es? Seis noventa. Como? Seis noventa. Six ninety. I understood. Nilda gave me eight points for the test. I was very happy with that. Next, we went out on the street. Test number two was asking for directions and understanding them. We were on a narrow street, and I had to stop someone and ask him or her for the nearest drugstore, una farmacia. I stopped a woman. At first, I didn't understand anything she said. Siga derecho y tome la segunda calle a la izquierda. Hay una farmacia en esa calle. I asked the woman to speak more slowly. Todo derecho y tome la segunda calle a la izquierda. Izquierda. I got it this time, I think. The second street on the left. I followed the directions, and guess what? There was a drugstore there. Seven points from Nilda. Test number three. I wasn't looking forward to this one. I had to take a taxi to a historical place in San Juan. Nilda wrote down the name of the place on a piece of paper. It was the name of an old fort near the ocean. We stopped a taxi. El Moro, por favor. ¿Qué? ¿A dónde? He didn't understand me. I tried again, but he still didn't understand. I was desperate, so I said, Fort, old, water. Ah, el morro. Finally, Nilda only gave me five points because I ended up using English. Still... At least I made the taxi driver understand where I wanted to go. And so to the final test. I had to leave a message in Spanish on somebody's voicemail. I had to give my name, spell it, and ask the person to call me back. Nilda gave me the number. It was one of her friends named Lourdes, and I dialed. I was feeling a little nervous at this point, because talking on the phone in a foreign language is never easy. Deje su mensaje después de la señal. Uh, buenas noches. Soy Max. Max? M-A-R-X. Uh, por favor, llamarme esta noche... Oh, yes, a las ocho y media. Uh, gracias. Well... My grammar wasn't correct, but I left the message. Half an hour later, at 8.30, Lourdes called me. Success! Nilda gave me eight points. That was the end of my four tests. Nilda was happy with me. My final score was seven. I was very happy with that. So, how much can you learn in a month? Well, of course, you can't learn Spanish in a month. But you can learn enough to survive if you are on vacation or on a trip. Now I want to go back to Washington, D.C. and try and learn some more. Adios.